This broadcast is brought to you in part by Deborah Kane, your local best selling romance author. Here's news anchor John Webb. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm John Webb. We're broadcasting live tonight from Trout Creek, Montana. We begin this evening with that urgent message from the Panhandle Health District urging North Idahoans to use caution if they plan to recreate in Lake Kokolala. A probable algal bloom has invaded the lake according to DEQ water ecologist Bob Steed. HAB, which presents a discolor in the water, can produce dangerous toxins in the lake. Children, elders and pets are most at risk, although everyone is advised to avoid exposure. The public will be advised when the threat no longer exists. The Idaho Fish and Game is looking for information on an alleged poached elk. The bull was discovered Tuesday off of Clegstone Road north of Spirit Lake. The elk was discovered after the landowner found it with its antlers removed. Anyone with information is asked to call 208-769-1414. IDL crews contained a 1.1 acre wildfire near Lake Ponderé yesterday. The Glengarry fire was attacked by two water scoopers and a helicopter. Today, crews spent time mopping up and patrolling the area. Starting next Tuesday, work to repave I-90 from Blue Creek Bay to the bottom of 4th of July Pass will once again extend the existing work zone. Only the westbound lanes will be repaved as the eastbound lanes were finished in June. The paving project is expected to last two weeks. However, crews won't finish the bridge project until late September. This weekend, the Sandpoint Film Festival is set to take place all free of charge. The festival kicks off at 7.30 tonight through Sunday. There will be 17 films from places like France to Iran. For more information, you can find it at sandpointfilmfestival.com. Finally tonight, a 16-year-old won the Pinehurst Golf Club Championship this past weekend. Archie Roundhorse, an avid golfer, knocked off many top local golfers. He even secured himself into the annals of the club's history, which, by the way, dates back to the 1930s. And get this, he also was the youngest champion to ever win the championship. He told the show show news press, quote, it felt so good. I bet it did. So impressive. That's it for us tonight. I'm John Webb. Hey, we're back Tuesday night. Have a happy Labor Day weekend. Stay safe, friends.